Thank you. So today I'm going to take you on a brief journey through the world uh, of that is big data. Uh, so big data, the phrase actually started, it emerged at least as far back as 1997, when it was used in a paper by NASA to describe data sets that were so large, they stretched the capacity limits of disk storage and compute power. And since then, there's been an explosion in the quantity of data and the variety of it. There are over two and a half billion terabytes of data in the digital universe today. And in just a few years, by 2020, uh, analysts are predicting that we're going to be generating over 10 times that amount every year. But there's also been a tremendous amount of improvement in the uh, technology we have available to harness and store and process and analyze all of this data. For just $600, you can buy a disk drive that can store all of the world's music. And thanks to some early innovations by uh, companies like Google and Yahoo and others in the early 2000s, we have technologies like Apache Hadoop and some other related open source projects that harness thousands of servers, relatively inexpensive, low-end servers networked together, each with their own attached storage that can process vast amounts of data at the same time and simultaneously. So this is all very exciting. Um, the early adopters of some of this next generation big data technology are the familiar consumer internet names of Silicon Valley, the Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Yahoo, and the like. Uh, but over the last few years, there's actually been increased adoption by what I'll call grown-up entities across a whole array of industries of this next generation technology. We're seeing cities uh, who are pulling data from large amounts of sensors on roads. Um, they're, they're pulling the data into centralized repositories and doing advanced analytics on it to predict traffic patterns multiple hours ahead of time and then dynamically alter the traffic light patterns or the, tolls, uh, the toll prices on bridges to uh, prevent the traffic bottlenecks and the traffic jams from ever happening in the first place. We're seeing financial services companies aggregate large amounts of data to find the next great investment opportunity or to produce, uh, re reduce the fraud that they have in their systems. We're seeing uh, one of the largest retailers in the world that generates over one million customer transactions every hour is aggregating all of this data into big repositories and doing advanced analytics on it to, for example, uh, dynamically alter the price of milk so that they can sell more bread because the bread is located across the aisle from the milk and they know the foot traffic patterns in their store and how they behave. One of the largest and most technologically sophisticated hospital systems in the world is aggregating all of their electronic medical record information from their patients, as well as the best practices, double-blind clinical trial studies, um, and other health monitoring information to predict uh, which treatments are going to result in the best outcomes in specific situations, and then deliver that insight to the clinicians, the doctors and the nurses, at the point of care in a way that doesn't disrupt the care process, for example, on an iPad. And pharmaceutical companies are using it to discover the next life-saving drugs. So this is exciting, and it's disruptive across a whole array of industries. Um, that said, there are some pretty impressive management and security challenges. When you're storing sensitive patient data or financial transactions on low-end commodity hardware connected over networks to the internet, uh, the, the data itself needs to be locked down and secured. The applications, the networks, the servers, they all need to be managed. And so we're investing really heavily in uh, helping all of our customers and partners manage and secure all of this big data technology sprawl. But big data isn't just a management and security challenge and problem. It's also a very powerful tool. Uh, the very nature of management software, which involves gathering up large amounts of information from agents and sensors and connectors and aggregating it and doing advanced predictive multivariate analytics to take action or uh, trigger alerts or do rich immersive visualizations, it is at its core a big data problem. And so it's very well suited for big data to help solve. So we're also investing very heavily to infuse the latest of these big data technologies at the very core of all of our offerings. So stay tuned for many more exciting announcements from us in this space. Thank you.